Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back for some more of Let's Play Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinestrals. And last time we left off, we got stuck in the cave. But we found our way out, and now we get to do more fire arrow puzzles! Yay! And this is honestly probably one of the only caves where you even have these type of puzzles. You don't use the fire arrow very often, which is kind of a shame, but at the same time it's... I don't know, not that useful. Anyway, I mean, because if you're using it for non-puzzle purposes, it does the same thing that an arrow does, so what's the bother, really? And this is a pretty easy one right here. A dupe and dupe. Yeah, we did it. Step on this panel over here, and you get to see the outlay of uh, this puzzle, where you have to take the two pots and put them on the two switches, uh, but you can't step on the same spot twice, otherwise you'll fall through and have to come back here and do it all over again. So what you want to do is go up and grab this pot, go around here, and oh, oh, damn it. Okay, I went too far to the left there. I'm going to mess up. Just make sure to go left around those two rocks right there. Um, I'll at least do the puzzle the rest of the way it's supposed to be done. I mean, it's pretty simple, but now as you can see, I went too far to the left. And you drop back down into this place, which I've spent far too much time in already. So let's get the heck out of there as fast as we can. And go on back do it all over again. Man, these uh, these tedious puzzles are really getting to me. Luckily, you don't have to do those two over again. And uh, we already know the layout, so no reason to step on that little switch thing. Alright, now if I can just not overdo this. Okay, drop this pot. Not in front of me, to the right. Grab this one, throw that on the left switch. Grab this one, throw it on that switch, and there you go. It's pretty simple. Um, as you can see, if you fall, it's not a big deal, really. And then, uh, ooh, look at that. See, what's the point of that? Can there just be a door there? Is it really necessary to have to put a bomb there? This is pretty cool. Speaking of Link's utility belt, um, and all the stuff you get that's very Linkish, this is a very Link kind of puzzle, where you have to use the hookshot and navigate from platform to platform. You know, obligatory enemy on each of the platforms as well. But most of them are not that hard. Well, except for these Mad Golems. Mad Golem! He likes to attack you. He's that one guy that's kind of like the horses in the dungeons that will really sprint after you if he sees you get relatively close for some reason. But anyhow. So how's everybody doing today? Hello to all my new subscribers or people that have not watched me before. Hopefully you've stuck around for uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds into the video. It would be very much appreciated. As I try to figure out what magic these mad golems are weak against. And it is certainly not Blizzard. Ooh, Fire Punch did really well. Maybe it is Fire. Hmm. That would be helpful, considering I'm fighting giant killer flowers as well. But, I'm doing pretty good on this Sunday afternoon. I've been playing a lot of Mega Man 1. I just got up to uh, the Yellow Devil for the first time. I'd never fought the Yellow Devil in Mega Man 1 for the first time, forever. So I'm fighting him for the first time, and I beat him on my very first try. And I was surprised. Maybe it's just because I've been playing a lot of Mega Man lately. But, I have heard that he is probably the hardest boss in any Mega Man game. So, I don't know, I found it kind of surprising I took him out on my first try, but he does kind of telegraph his moves, just like he does in Mega Man 3, so, not to the extent, and he might move a little bit more quickly, but still, not, not as hard as I, I, I would have been led to believe that he is. But anyhow, back to Lufia. So, we made it past the Link platform section, we go through this door. And we get one of these, where we have to get the enemy to stand on the switch. I suggest just standing in one spot and swinging your sword until he steps on the switch. And you can just hookshot over, no problem. Go through another completely empty room. And we're finally out on top of the Phantom Tree Mountain. And from here, everything is just straightforward. We're getting ready to fight a boss, so if you're playing along, make sure to heal up and be ready for it. But first, we've got to do this little puzzle again, another very easy kind of puzzle to do. Get the golem's attention, get them both you and him on this platform, it falls to the ground, creates a way for you to get through, and then we finally use our tree key, and you know when you use the tree key, things are gonna, shit's about to go down, man, seriously. And, well, wait, look at that guy, did you, did you see that guy before I went to the menu? That's, that's not just the ship builder, no, that's the, that's the bridge builder as well, as well. Are you jived by any chance? That's me, who are you folks? I'm Johnny. I'm after someone on the East Continent, but the ships in Alien are, were destroyed. What? All the ships were destroyed? What about my Margos? I didn't see any ships at all in port, so probably. Darn it! What's going on? Well, that makes my coming here worthwhile, huh? What are you saying? 
There's a tree called the Phantom Tree on this mountain. It's light, strong, ideal for ships. I'm a darn good shipmaker, you see. As soon as I get the tree, I can make the best. But the monster ahead is too tough, so I'm stuck sitting here doing nothing. Oh, that's easy then. Let us take care of the monster. It's what we do. I'm Johnny the Fighter. Trust me, but in return, please take us to the East Continent when you finish that ship. Sure, no problem. We've got a deal. And with that, we go and we fight the Mountain Lions. <laughs> this might be the one. Well, I wonder. There was a brilliant flash of lightning. So, I guess we'll go all out with our IP attacks and uh, using whatever magic works against them, which I guess we'll have to kind of figure out by process of elimination. It's probably fire or ice. Oof. Once again, we're starting to encounter many more enemies that, uh, oh, it wasn't fire. Many more enemies that, uh, use moves that attack everyone in the party at once. You no, know, water attack didn't do much either. Bomb attack's pretty effective. At least it hits both of them. That's a plus. Alright. Yeah, guy has no magic. Continue those bomb attacks, I suppose. Johnny, I oh, will just have you attack normally. And Selen, let's see how what Blizzard does. I mean, SW2KX, his Fireball, or Burning Fang, whatever he hit him with before, worked really well. So, I'm surprised Fireball didn't work that well. Ooh, Terminate, let's see how well this does. Uh, it's pretty good. I guess if it was one opponent, that would probably have been about 200, or not 200, 400 damage. Oh, and he's dead already. Awesome. So there you go. It's a pretty easy boss battle as far as the boss battles go. Uh, they'll get much harder from this point on out in the game, but I believe those guys become regular enemies, just like the uh, lizard men and the regal goblins were once bosses, and then unfortunately got downgraded to the lowly position of henchmen. But oh well. This, this is it. This is a huge tree. Is this it? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Do you think you can make a ship out of this? Sure, the best, right? I'll go back to the city and organize some help. Oh, wait. What is it? I have to go back right away, and... You can go back to the city in a flash. What? Would you come here and stay close to us? Selen, we're ready. All right. Warp! Doesn't that seem like it's kind of breaking the fourth wall? Because I think when you use warp, it's just kind of supposed to, like, speed up the progress of the game. Oh, so that's what warp is. Was that your first time? Yeah, I don't meet many people that can use spells. My stomach feels kind of weird. You're just spell sick. It happens to some people when they get hit with one. You know, break your warp cherry. Me? Sick? You're kidding. I've never been sick, even riding out of a storm. Ships and spells are different, but you'll get used to it. No thanks. I prefer ships. Oh, that's right. I've got a ship to make. I've got to go off and fetch the wood. Ship will be done in a couple of days. I'll show you my best work. Come back then, okay? That's the key word, is a couple days. I'm so used to warping around that I can't travel around slowly in ships. But you can't even get places you've never been with warp. That means we must travel by ship. Hmm, that's true. By the way, Johnny, what are we going to do until the ship is done? Jade said a couple of days, so we have to stay in the city until then. Johnny, I just remembered. I have to do something. Me too. You're not thinking about going out on the town, are you? Not to show off or anything, but besides, I'm great and all, and good at making friends. No woman in her right mind would befriend you. Save it until you see what I can do, alright? I'm Decker. I'm a ladies' man. Where does this confidence come from? You've got nothing special to be proud of. You have a tiny wiener. Well, Johnny, we're off. Typical males. Mmm. Well, that about does it for this episode, guys. Next time, we're going to stay in the inn for a couple of days. And then after you spend the night in the inn for a couple of times, you can go to Jade and he'll have the boat ready. But uh, until then, thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been the Johnny Cage. P please subscribe, like, comment if you have not, and I will talk to all of you tomorrow.